Every great initiative needs a great slogan. And to that, we turn to a man, a visionary, <laughs> who said one day, and once he said it, I couldn't get out of my head, he said, pave, baby, pave. <laughs> and uh, I know it was your homage to Sarah Palin, but that's okay. <laughs> Sometimes staring at the sun pays off. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> another great quote. Uh, so <laughs> he's, he's got one every day. But um, pave, baby, pave said it all. It's like, let's get to work. Let's do this. Let's do everything we can do. With that, I turn to the original spokesman <laughs> and visionary of paving, Borough President Jimmy Otto. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, oh, thank you. No, thank you, guys. Mayor, Mayor just as an aside, interestingly enough, uh, DOT employee uh, Vince Salenti and I once drove to Las Vegas and back in a weekend, mm. but I don't want to talk about it. Anyway, is that uh, true? no, it's not true. Okay, <laughs> I was going to say we barely can stand amazing. seven innings with each other on the same uh, softball field. There you go. So, um, in in October of 2014, I asked the mayor for an extraordinary effort on resurfacing, resurfacing. and. In the, in the time since, we've gotten that and more. And uh, I will use a word that we like to use these days, and that is historic, and it is. It's an historic amount of resurfacing, and we continue to set records each, uh, each year. And to fully appreciate where we are today, I want to spend just a couple of moments looking backwards, because you have to know how long some of us have been trying to get this assistance. I just have, and this is just a sampling of some of the letters, many of which Steve probably wrote himself when he was my chief of staff, many of the letters to the previous administration. And if you look at who the letters are addressed to, it's a potpourri, it's a, uh, not a potpourri, it's the uh, alphabet of former Bloomberg uh, staffers from uh, former commissioners to Deputy Mayor Sheiky, Deputy Mayor uh, Ed Schuyler, Jeff Kay, who was the head of operations, to the mayor himself. And if it were my press conference, I would read you some really amazing language that is uh, found in these letters, including a reminder, frankly, that I had forgotten, that the city council delegation, when I was in the city council, and the then borough president, actually took some of the resume money that we are allocated and gave it back to the city and back to DOT because we were that desperate yeah. for help. And these letters were a plea for help. And we asked for wear and tears. We asked for an additional paving crew. Um, and it did not come. And when uh, Mayor de Blasio was elected, when Polly Trottenberg was uh, appointed as the commissioner, we pushed the agency hard. And that led in part uh, in 2014 uh, to the effort to try rubberized asphalt that you're going to hear about from Commissioner Coca-Cola. But it was in October of uh, 2014 when the mayor came for our first formal sit-down at Borough Hall. We prepared this lovely uh, booklet, Partnership Opportunities. There's a wonderful picture, Mr. Mayor, of you and me. And if you recall, there was a presentation about roads and about how we had failed as a city to meet the gold standard. Uh, nine of the 12 Bloomberg years, 11 out of the previous 14 years, the city failed to meet the 1,000 lanes resurface, which is what you need to do to maintain our roads in good stead. And because of that, we had old roads on Staten Island. And if you recall the winters, uh, the two tough winters we had consecutively, what, what happened? Uh, our roads didn't have potholes, they began to crumble. Much like your own home, your cars, our bodies, if you don't maintain them at some point they will give out. And that's what this mayor inherited. When we sat in October and we made the pitch to the mayor, he said to me, uh, I will do everything I can to get you back to a thousand lane miles, but I can't promise you anything above that. Well. He got us back to 1,000 lane miles and much more. And it is a, sus and a sustained effort 
that gets us out of this hole. As the mayor said, 42%, 43% of the roads uh, on Staten Island have been paved during the de Blasio Otto tenure, Matteo II. Um, so we are not there just yet, but we have come a long way. And uh, only a continued sustained effort will get us to where we want to be and to make up for a decade and a half of underinvestment in our roads. A couple more l last quick thoughts. Uh, the mayor alluded to the street cut change. Uh, that is critical. You have a, a great constituent like, like Vinny. He waits a long time to have his road resurfaced. He finally gets it resurfaced. DOT does a fantastic job. And then Verizon, Con Ed, Nat Grid comes in, and that brand new street is now, um, is now broken up. And it happens again and again and again. And all the good work of these men and women is literally undercut. So we have a lot of work to do. I appreciate the fact that the mayor had Deputy Mayor Anglin out to Staten Island to tour with Steve and me and, and Commissioner Trottenberg, and we have a lot more work to do on that front as well. Um, I, I will close with this for real. Uh, Staten Island is a car-oriented borough, not because we are part of some vast Henry Ford conspiracy, <laughs> but out of necessity. So while this may be trivial to other parts of the world, this is critical. This is a critical quality of life issue for Staten Islanders. And it was issue number one for a long time. And we have made um, great, great progress. And I want to thank the mayor. I want to thank the DOT. I want to thank the men and women in the trenches doing the job, even Vinny Salenti, for the <laughs> great job that they've done. Um, there is much more work to do. Uh, I used to get under the skin of the uh, previous administration. I think I annoyed the mayor in the conversation we had it, uh, about it, and I'm pretty sure I PO'd uh, Commissioner Trottenberg when I said, having a press conference saying we filled in the one millionth pothole is the municipal government's equivalent of mission accomplished. No one is putting out an, a mission accomplished uh, banner just yet, but under this mayor we have come a long way and we're aware of and we are going to continue to complete the mission, and I am very grateful, Mr. Mayor. Thank you.